feels, he feeds the hungry heart. Amen. That's what I found when I was in Africa and in Guatemala and any third world country that God had sent me to. As their hearts were hungry, they received. That's why we saw signs, wonders, and miracles follow those who believe because they believed and we believed. Woo! It was a, it was a area full of believers. It was a win-win situation. You're right. I'm telling you, God's grace and His mercy is here today and He wants us to receive. That actual very word that says sufficient there for you is arkehu, which means to raise a barrier, to ward off, to avail. Enough. It raises the barrier. It raises the barrier of God's grace in our lives. See, we need grace a lot of times in our lives to be a barrier to hold things back. I know we read the Scriptures. You read it too. When you give grace, you're going to receive grace. That's, right. That's why I stood up here this morning and I was asking for grace. I asked him for apology that this was a hot room. So, give me the love. <laughs> no, the truth of the matter, if you, for some of you, it feels a little cooler here already. Yep. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> The message today is God always results, God's grace always results in victory. His grace will always result in victory in your life. It doesn't have a choice. Because grace is a man, and his name is Jesus. Oh, come on. And because of him, we have victory. Amen. If you follow him, if you abide in him, you follow him, you have victory. What about last week when this and that happened to me? No, you still have victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. It's not over till it's over. That's right. It's right. not over till you give up. That's right. The thing that I realize that we need to know what we have victory over through grace is the power to sin no more. We have the grace in abundance, in sufficiency that we don't have to sin anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, and I believe it as we, as we look at this, the power of sin anymore, I believe as we look at this, as Christians, we don't, we don't wake up purposely to sin in the morning. Things happen. Somebody cuts you off. <laughs> Somebody said something cross. Maybe you said something wrong to someone. And I'm talking to believers. I'm not talking about, you know, this morning before you got here, you were down at the 7-Eleven and you robbed them and then you came to church. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, a lot of times when you talk about sin, people think of sin as those, those big evil things. Well, according to God, sin is sin and there's no measure of sin. Right. To rob a bank or to have unforgiveness in your heart is the same yeah. sin. And unfortunately, there's, there's too many people that have expected to be heaven-bound, but they're not there because they haven't forgiveness in their heart. Pastor Fran and I have always had this saying for quite some years, that we're not going to allow anyone to send us to hell. What do I mean? Unforgiveness will take you straight to hell. I'm not going to allow anybody to come against me that I would have unforgiveness towards them that would take me to the pit of hell. Hallelujah. Amen. And neither are you. Amen. Glory to God. And, and I believe most rational human beings, they, they probably don't look as, as, as an excuse for sin, you know, to, to do something and, and call that an excuse. I don't think that that happens, but we have an understanding because we understand that even the Apostle Paul, being as Apostle Paul was, and wrote two-thirds of the Bible of the New Testament, that he even dealt with it. Because we read in Romans 7.15, the New Living Translation, it says, I don't really understand myself. Can anybody relate with that? Mm -hmm. He says, I don't really understand myself for what? I want to do, and what is right, I don't do it. Instead, 
I do what I hate. Have you ever done something and it's just like slipped out and it's like, why did I do that? <laughs> and of course, as being the believer that you are, the first thing that comes out of your mouth is, Lord, forgive me. 